Affecting policy is difficult for three main reasons. First, there are many people competing for different policies at the same time. And sometimes, competing for the same issue with a different idea. So not only are there different priorities, but even within one priority, there are different answers that people believe strongly in. And that competition makes it difficult because you have to navigate through all of these ideas and come up with the best idea. And that takes time. The other obstacle is that there are a lot of checks and balances before any new idea is implemented. People want to make sure that we consider the consequences, that we consider the ramification of this idea. What kind of impact will it have on other issues that we didn't consider? So there are a lot of checks and balances sometimes that are cumbersome, uh, get in the way of implementing a new policy quickly. And third, which is I think the most powerful obstacle, is that the, what I call the tyranny of status quo. There is something comfortable about status quo. It is something familiar, it's something that we're accustomed to, and as much as we all say, yeah, yeah, I wish things are not really great, but to ask me to do something new that I've never tried before and it's less familiar to me than what I'm accustomed to right now, it makes people nervous. And it, 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 it acts as sometimes a deterrence to try out something new. So I, I believe those three main reasons that make the, the process of pushing new ideas, implementing change, complicated. And we need to recognize those obstacles and we need to deal with them. I think walking away from, uh, from affecting policy change is, uh, is not an option, frankly because we all have a passion for making sure that our country, our province, our city uh, improves and does better. And walking away is certainly not an answer. Uh, now, okay, so let's say we're all determined on pushing forward. So what do we do? We re realize that, okay, we need to talk to other people who are passionate about the same issue but may have different ideas. Or they may have a si similar ideas. So let's cooperate with them. Let's reach compromises. Let's come up with something that is constructive instead of uh, antagonizing each other. And that way, I think, that will take time, that will take compromise, that will take uh, tough negotiation, but it will, the bigger the network that you build or, or, or advocacy group that you build, the more effective you can be in pushing that idea.